once you've logged onto your content management system, what we'll want to do is to uh, view the page we're editing. So in this case, it would be vehicles. And this should be the similar uh, layout as what you have. So I've already put one in, but we'll edit the next one, the next line. Um, that's this vehicle description. Um, I have a trailer listing here, so that could be a vehicle, whatever, whatever your inventory consists of. So from the uh, uh, vehicles page, I already have this uh, table in here. So um, what you'll want to do before you go into this section is you'll want to edit your uh, thumbnail, which is uh, this here which I have highlighted and that is 100 width by 75 height and we'll get to the other images uh, in the actual page view which I could show you as well uh, here's a gallery example and we'll be using this uh, source code as well but I'll just show you the image here uh, the image here is uh, 507 width that means uh, horizontal and uh, 274 height that's vertical so that's the images we're preparing for uh, how they display in the individual page so if I click on uh, source I'll be using this information so what I'll do is just copy and paste this um, for my for my future use and I've already done that and you should probably do that as well. So copy and paste it into like a notepad or whatever. This is the source code you'll be using. It's pretty easy to input and you'll be using pretty much the same format. So we'll try that. So I'm not going to edit that part right now. I'm going to go I'm going to go to uh, all pages and we'll just uh, show you the table first. So number 1, you've already prepared your thumbnail. So we'll do that and we'll add a new one. So I want to go to this picture icon here. I want to click it and I want to say upload. I want to browse it so more than likely I have it on my desktop now that I've edited uh, whatever thumbnail. So this is the one I'm going to add. And you can see, uh, oh, excuse me. This is the one I'm going to add. It's 100 by 75. And this is the name I'm going to give it. And I'll say open and I'll send it to the server. Now right here I want to delete that. Delete the width and height. I mean just for uh, uh, demonstration purposes and then if it's a larger image it'll be responsive. So I'll just say OK, send it to the server and there you go. So I want to say this is a 2011 um, and I can add from my description I could just put the same thing I just copied and I want to sell it for whatever price let's say $19,995 whatever so I just save and I can either click view or just refresh the page that I've listed it on and there you go so there's the image, there's the description and price I'm selling it for, whatever year. Um, so I want to go back to the individual pages. I want to say all pages and I want to I want to add a page. And I want to name it the same thing. So this is my inventory item number and I'll say just to keep track of that I'll put an inventory number on it, 2206. I'm going to take out all the spaces here because we don't need that. And we'll take out this and this. And we'll just use this name. And I'll copy and paste that and paste it here and paste it here. Now you don't need the first heading tag but this is the area we're going to focus on for the individual page. That's just for this inventory number. So right here I want to click on the source and we'll go back to what we've copied and pasted and I want to just simply enter it here. And that'll give me just a 
template to work from. It's already preset. I already have one entered into your admin. So all you have to do is save it. And if you want to view it while you're editing, this is basically the preset uh, page design. And you can see we need to change the title, the images, and the description. So we'll go ahead and do that. So now we already have the preset images. I'll do the same thing. I want to go image, upload, I want to browse. And again, I already have a preset uh, image here. And it's, again, uh, 507 width. That means the horizontal and the height is 274. I'll just open it. Now I'll just send it to the server. The same thing here. I want to delete this because I want it to be uh, responsive or mobile ready. And when people are viewing on their device or whatever, it will uh, flex to whatever device. So I'm going to say, yep, that's the image. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just say, OK, there's your image. right? And I'll say save. And I could say refresh. And that's my first image. So again, I'll want to change these. Or I can refresh the page. That's the first image they're going to see. So really nice, neat, outside vehicle look whatnot. So now I'll change the title. It's just pretty much text. I want to say whatever price I, uh, I listed it for. I want to say 1995, 1995. So sale price 1999 or nine, whatever, 199, whatever I listed it for. What did I say? 199. 95. And I want to enter the same thing for the vehicle description. So I'll copy this and I'll put it right here. So now I have an individual page and I can go, I just view it or save it or whatever. I want to definitely save it because I just made a change. And I could just do pretty much the same thing. Whatever images I've already pre-prepared, I go to upload, browse it, uh, whatever images. I'll have five, six of internal, external, the surrounding vehicle, or, or whatever you want to highlight with that vehicle. And that's a small one. So each of the large images will be the same. So if I, if I say, yep, this is this is the next one, and I usually title them one, two, three, four, five, whatever. I just input that in, send it to the server, and I'm not going to do it right now, but uh, say OK, and the same process for each individual uh, image. And I'll just say cancel for now, um, or I'll just say OK. Okay, so Again, you have spots for uh, multiple images that you'll need to change. And then again, the description, whatever text you have to uh, describe, whatever MSRP, whatever sale price, whatever interior, exterior, hey, it has a V8 engine, it has whatever, you want to put it here in text. So again, pretty simple there. I'll just save it and I'll say refresh. And there it is. So I have my individual page and I will have changed these. That's the first one they'll see. And I put in a description and whatnot. So I want to go back to my individual list. So I'll go back to all pages and you can see there's the new page and we'll say vehicles. Oh, first, first of all, I want to go back to copy. And this, just for example purposes, it'd be uh, whatever your domain, but I want to copy this because that's the uh, file we'll be linking it to. So again, back to all pages. And I want to go to vehicles. And this is the link we will input. So I want to go, I want to highlight that, go to link and enter the URL here. And I'll 
paste it here, the exact link, and I want to say OK. And it should have linked the file. And I want to say save. And I want to go back to the list and refresh the page. And there you go. It's linked to the uh, current page you've already added. And same thing with the, uh, the thumbnail. So I'm going to go here and I want to say link and I want to put the link here. And just delete that and uh, paste it here and say OK. Images linked. And I say save. Go back to list. I'm going to go back to the original list and click on the image. And there you go. Pretty self explanatory. Uh, just a few uh, edit uh, tips that I gave you. And we could refresh it. So you could put put pretty much anything you want here and I would uh, uh, if you're doing local sales or whatnot I mean uh, you could say hey this is the best price for a uh, vehicle Volkswagen Jetta in Fargo and how many miles you know things that people would actually look for now the reason why we put it in this table is to be uh, mobile ready so uh, you can uh, list your inventory uh, for people to view it when they're pulling up on your lot on the weekend or when when you're not in the store so listed here they could view it on their mobile device and and you could pull it up on uh, say iPhone or, or like an Android device or, or, or an Apple iPad or, or whatever it's gonna be the same view same uh, experience um, if you're I'll just cover some general stuff and want to edit some uh, pages or whatnot say I have um, say like the home page I want to change the image on the home page so here same thing uh, I want to go to I just prepare this image whatever size and I want to say hey replace it with say my uh, large Jetta photo say open and this is my special or sale event or, or whatever. I say send it to the server. And I want to delete this again so it can be uh, responsive when people look at it. So I'm going to say OK. And there you go. Click Save. Now I can just go view uh, the home page again and say, OK, so here's my special. And below, I say, uh, when I'm editing this photo, I say, sales price whatever on St. Patrick's Day or Easter Sunday or President's Day sales event and this is what I want to move so it will give you an opportunity to uh, show one of your vehicles that you want to move right away or uh, say you have a factory discount on vehicles or whatnot you want to put it there so whatever ad uh, advertisement you want to put great if it's just a text ad great you could change that um, and then, of course, I, I just put in some uh, static uh, images for, say, new vehicles, used vehicles, vehicle services, and specials. You could change those the same way. So let's go look at one of those. And those are a specific size as well. Um, but same process. Go to uh, the image icon, upload, browse it, and say, hey, this is my image you know whatever size I have to be the uh, appropriate size um, and say open or, or whatnot but I'm not gonna change that right now but that's how you change that any any uh, headers or, or whatnot you just go right into it change it say there's misspelling or whatnot or say you wanna say you wanna say contact us for whatever um, I could just say contact contact us and then I want to link it and this is pretty pretty simple again I could say other it could be like mail to or it could be uh, just 
go to a specific dealer website or whatever so or a different URL or or whatever email link my email address da 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 and we'll just go URL so let's say say I want to just link it to a, a specific website just for example say it's a dealership or, or whatnot so I'll put that in there's the link save it and I can just do a quick preview and what I edit that boom right there so anything is pretty much editable uh, and that's about it. I mean, if you have any questions or whatnot, the, the biggest thing I, I would say is just prepare your files. Again, if you're looking at these vehicles, these are exactly 100 width by 75 height. And the internal sections uh, for the pages is exactly 507 width and 274 height. Now, I would suggest using the entire space or you're going to have offset images. So you want to show your best quality photo here for whatever vehicle you're selling that's the best rule of thumb for selling anything show your best and people will contact you and you can put your contact information here or we have your uh, contact form ready to go here uh, and this is again just an example I mean they can contact you for any vehicle um, if you have any questions let me know thank you